Welcome to the Nikki Rich Show. I'm your host, Miss Nikki Rich. And today, guys, we are broadcasting live out of sunny California. Y'all know Los Angeles. It is, and we have an exciting show for you guys. We have none other than Dr. Antoinette Lowes, everybody know from the hit show, Bell Collective on Oprah Winfrey Network, and I'm so honored to have her here today. But before we get to our guest, I got to tell you a little bit about her. You know, we got to brag a little bit here at the Nikki Rich Show. Hey, <laughs> she is a talented director of medicine, proud owner of Maya Dental, offers a full menu of restor restorative and cosmetic dental serv services to patients of all ages. And I'm excited to welcome here for the first time, Dr. Antoinette Louds. Welcome. Hey, you thank you so much for having me. I think this yes. is gonna be a fun interview. How <laughs> yes. are you? I'm so good, I'm so good. It's, I'm telling you, I have been watching you. I've been following you. You are amazing and you are what I call a boss. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, let me just say, I'm so jealous. You opened the show and you're like, oh, we're in sunny Los Angeles. First of yes. all, it's raining in Jackson, Mississippi for like the last two or three days. I oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I love it. You know how to go bright today. <laughs> oh, we might be in the same color family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am so honored to have you here. I'm going to tell you, you have an extensive background. And I say, you are like me. We are that, what is it, lifelong educators? Yes. yes. <laughs> Long <Lifelong>. learners? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you be in school forever. <laughs> oh, I was in school enough until I was 25. Like, it was serious business. <laughs> yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about your background. You know, I know you uh, was the first generation graduate which is powerful that says so much so tell us a little bit about your educational background so i actually grew up in saginaw michigan my great grandmother never finished middle school my grandmother never mm. finished middle school my mother and her twin sister finished high school and so i was like certainly the first in my family to go to college and i mean i could have stopped there but i went on to dental school um after leaving Jackson State University, the I love, an HBCU right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Shout out to the Tigers. I love them so much. Um, and then on to dental school for me, where that was another four-year program. And at the end of it all, I became a doctor, doctor of dental medicine. And not even five years later, I am opening up Mid Dental. And I mean, it has been a journey. Yes. <laughs> yes. And speaking of, I mean, lately, I mean, everybody's talking about these HBCUs because oh. powerful people are coming out of them. So how do you feel to be a part of an HBCU and to see mm -hmm. the newly vice president, Kamala oh, Harris? Our vice president, Kamala Harris, was just sworn in and she's an HBCU grad. She is part of the Divine Nine. You know, mm -hmm. like she she represents so much to so many people. Um, it is such a badge of honor. She gives us, she fills us with so much hope. You know, mm -hmm. the idea that she said, um, I may be the first woman in this position, but I won't be the last one. Y'all, I was dying, like just crying, crying, crying. Like, yeah. man, how, how amazing all... is that? And not only that, a woman. A woman of color. <laughs> yes. And and you yourself are making history in Jacksonville. I mean, Jackson, I'm sorry. You are making history because you are a black owned business and a doctor. You know, we need more dentists. You know, we need more. Absolutely. And so um I strategically bit built Mint Dental in a place where I'm not far from Jackson State University. I am not mm -hmm. far from the dental school, University of Mississippi School of Dentistry. Like I am a short 20 minutes away such that I can provide the resources that they need to get more people of color, yes. more black women, um, the opportunities they need, if that means shadowing, if that means, you know, like 
I don't know, a letter of recommendation or help with their <laughs> personal statement. I, I don't know what they need, but I will be there and they will find me. And you can see my sign from the highway, Mama. Mm -hmm. It lights up bright, baby. <laughs> and all yes. And you know what I love about you? You not only do what you love and, you know, successful at it as well, but you also have you know work you able to collaborate with others and work with others because you have became members of you know the american dental association um the mississippi dental association also the mississippi association of women um dentists as well as the american association of women dentists i mean that says a lot in itself you have to be a part of the conversation. If you're going yes. to stimulate change, if you're going to promote change, you need to know what they're doing in all circles. And so I've been a part of the Mississippi Association of Women Dentists since I was a D3 student. That's a dental student in my third year. Mm -hmm. um, that has gone on longer than even my career itself. And so being a part of the conversations and oftentimes showing up as the only black woman in the room, maybe there's one of us, maybe there's two of us, but representation matters and so we can't want to change the world without a collaborative approach everything should be intersectional for sure yes it should yes i love that and not only that you have a uh, switch gears and you have stepped into reality tv OMG. <laughs> yeah. yes and now so how did you come about this amazing, <laughs> amazing reacher right here. <laughs> I don't know if people know this, but reality TV is work, baby. It is work. <laughs> and so, um, again, representation matters, visibility matters. And so I think um, I'm very, I'm part of a small group of black female doctors that actually get to share what they do and what they love to do mm -hmm. on TV. And so I'm hoping that my presence on TV inspires someone. I want yes. them to know where I am. I want them to know what I do. I want them to know that I enjoy doing it, you know, and if there's any way I can help, certainly. But those cameras, they follow you around. Yes. <laughs> you get all in your business. <laughs> oh, my God. And speaking of, it's the Bell Collective on yes. OWN. Yeah, I mean, my newly favorite show, Friday Night, my are <laughs> not the same. They are never the same. <laughs> They just are not. And so actually, Bell Collective comes on tonight in like a few short hours. It's going to mm -hmm. air in Mississippi at 9 o'clock. In Eastern time, it's going to be 10. But I will be live tweeting. So if you yes. guys are watching, you need the opportunity to interact with me in real time. We are going to we're gonna talk about what we see and how it comes <laughs> up, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And speaking of, I, I just want to let everybody know, I love the Bell Collective because it is I mean, it's it centers around, I would say, personal and professional lives of very successful black women, black bosses, and they re redefine what is known as the Southern Bell in Mississippi. I love it because you, you ladies are so powerful, y'all, and everybody has uh, something different that they're yeah. doing, that they're bringing, and. I mean, last week the drama started. <laughs> it got started. Can you even do reality TV without a little bit of drama? And so, excuse me, what's interesting about it is that they were able to cover like my divorce, you know, and they were like, hey, this is gonna speak to a lot of women. And I was like, no, I don't talk about this, right? And so there are a lot of people in my family and my friends who didn't know that I was divorced or I was speaking oh, about wow. it. And so like that was tea that was spilled. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, you know, when you have like a, me personally, when you have like a long standing relationship, I was with my ex for seven years and married for three. Um, once we uncoupled the newness of it all, going into like new relationships mm -hmm. with like new people. And so you guys get to see how I navigate these new friendships, you know? Um, yes. Ah! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I mean, I like it how you started it off. Everybody got to know a little bit about each other. And yeah. then they went in for the, <laughs> the drum. What a kill. <laughs> But you know what? I love, uh, you know, because I really love the fact that you also acknowledge on TV that sometimes 
when we have brunches and different women empowerment, it's not always women empowerment. And people, you know, I mean, I love that y'all acknowledge it because I know us in media, we we know we see this, but to have someone else acknowledge it, I mean, I was like, wow, this I'm not the only one. Some of those brunches are fantastic and like I mean mm -hmm. just brunches in general. And then yes. some of the brunches, you just you feel like there's a bit of a competition there. Mm -hmm. you always feel welcomed. And so, like, you don't necessarily feel empowered. I do want you guys to tune in because the brunches do get better for sure. <laughs> yes, but tonight, oh, my goodness, I'm ready. I'm ready because it's, it's going to be a continuation of what we saw last week. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's gonna be amazing. Stay tuned. There is not yes. a dry eye in sight. There will not be. Um, oh my god! Everything you liked about the first episode, it just builds. It just builds. Okay. And also, you know, like we're still fresh to reality TV, all of us, and so the idea that um, you know you let down your guard some, you get a bit more mm -hmm. comfortable, and so whatever you think you notice in the first episode. Keep watching. It's gonna it's gonna unfold. <laughs> oh, I am so ready. But you know what I'm really ready for? Tell Your me. big grand opening. Girl, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down. Look, yes. hey, you put your you put your vision, your words to action, and now it's here. Yes. And so you guys get to see me walk into a space on concrete. And the idea that I am opening up next week, January 25th, Met Dental, like it has been such a rewarding, such a challenging, such a difficult process. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what it means to me. Um, building Mint Dental helped me to, I don't know, like there's a little bit of insecurity left over mm -hmm. after uncoupling. There's a little bit of doubt in oneself, you know, after divorce. And so I have grown so much stronger throughout this process, acknowledging how difficult something is like to, to figure out and then getting on the other side of that such that like, oh, that wasn't as hard as I thought or yes. it's impossible and capable of difficult and challenging and hard things. And so Mint represents so much to me outside of what I know it's going to provide for the community. Yes. <sighs> and I love that the youth and everybody you're inspiring so many people they can say look we have a black african we have a black dentist that is a woman yes. here open her own dentistry how amazing and huge is that i mean it's it's such a big deal not only for me for what i said before but when you own your own practice you're able yes. to delegate or be involved as much as you want to be. And so one of the things that I did a few years prior um, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month was, you know, if there were women who were struggling with cancer or they were they were survivors, I, I bought them in at, like, at no charge whatsoever. We clean their teeth, we whiten their teeth, you know? Um, because you have so many things to deal with and I don't think your smile should be one of them. Like I got 99 problems and my smile ain't one, you know? Don't look at my so smile. Like being able to <laughs> offer those sort of services without having to have permission to do it from yes. like a boss or an employer. Like I'm really, I'm so eager to get into the community and be more involved mm -hmm. and let them know how I can support them in the things that they need. I love it. I love everything that you are doing. And, you know, I want everybody to definitely, you know, support, support. Oh, now, from your they, God to ears. so you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Louds of Smiles. You can follow Mint Dental MS both on the website.com and also on Instagram. I will be live tweeting tonight. If you want to get involved, we have a newsletter sign up list. And it'll tell you all of our projects and all of the things that we're doing. You guys, I am so excited. I am, oh my God. I'm so excited about all of it. Like, I'm a little overextended, but baby, I am happy about it. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. And, you know, I'm so honored, you know, to talk to you, too, because I am an own ambassador for the Oprah Winfrey Network. Shout out to Shout own. out to you. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, you know, uh, own is so amazing. Oprah, she inspires us all. 
you know, I love everything that she does and, you know, stands for. She's so powerful. And, you know, when you first became a part of the OWN Network, how did you feel? What what did you do? I mean, like, I would be uh, going crazy. <laughs> I was like, first of all, like, reality TV isn't something that I've naturally consumed, mm -hmm. you know, like, organically. And so I'm just like, ah, I don't know. Those people feeling they're crazy. So I wanted to bring my authentic self whenever mm -hmm. I presented myself. So like if I was sad or if I was frustrated or if I was anxious, you'll see all of that on camera. But I had two things that I wanted to do whenever I was like, oh, this is OWN. Like OWN is a big deal. Like OWN's not gonna make us look bad. And like if <laughs> Oprah Winfrey, she was born and raised right here in Mississippi. Yes, that is so embarrass Oprah. You know, yes. do not embarrass Oprah and do not embarrass Nana. And so with those two things in mind, while giving you my authentic self, I was just like, you know, one day I might get to meet Oprah and I want her to be genuinely happy to meet me, you know? And mm -hmm. so all things considered, I did my best. <laughs> you did. And, and you know, I also wanted to, you know, talk about the producers real quickly. How was it like working with all the producers? You got Carlos King, mm -hmm. uh, Slane um, Hatch, uh, also Angela. D Duggan, Mimi Adams, um, Shirley um, Hines, uh, they all are producers. So what was it like working with them? So the entire experience is just fresh. It's just brand new. And so I'm generally a private person. Like I said, like I, there were a lot of people who didn't even know that I was divorced. And mm -hmm. so like I am not very willing to give myself. I'm not very like a trusting person initially. Mm -hmm. I have to warm up to you. And so like those first couple of weeks were a little crazy because I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? You know? But uh, I realized that like they are legitimately there for you. You know, they want mm -hmm. to tell your story. They want to respect and honor it. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to say thank you again um, for being part of our show. Congratulations on all your success. There's so much more to come, and I'm so happy for you. And you, like I said, you're making history. You are making history. Monday is so much going on, and I'm, I'm so honored to have you here today. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. You mentioned Monday. Mint Dental actually opens up on Monday. It's such a big deal for me personally. It's going to be such a big deal for the students I want, you know, to help and all the patients that I get to love on and treat. And so, you guys, thank you so much again for having me. Yes. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Blouse of Smiles and on, like, professionally on mintdentalms.com. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, and just hold tight real quickly. Thank you. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Thank y'all for watching the Nikki Rich show. Make sure you subscribe to Nikki Rich, the number two, and check us out the Nikki Rich show.com. We will be having this interview, the exclusive interview on our site and everywhere. Social media, it's just everywhere. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Thank you, Nikki.